Here's a little video about the mysterious art of automation. You know when you're making an animation and you'd really like to take some of the heavy lifting out of making the characters seem alive and present. There's a really good trick to do it in Moho, which not many people really know about, or if they do, they don't know how useful it can be or how to use it. I thought I'd show you something. Okay, listen up good. This cat rotted out Don Quixote. That dog blabbed to the pigs. He's a stool pigeon, I tell ya. You. You're gonna have to take him out to sleep with the fishes. Capiche? Yeah, sure, boss. I got to get some fish for the cat, feed the pigeons, and take the dog out for a walk. Right? <laughs> and there was something about a donkey? <sighs> okay, so a lot of the stuff that's going on there is actually automated. Uh, this big boss rat in the foreground here most of his animation is all automated from a script reacting to the sound of the voice. I'll just show you what I mean and let's have a look at his animation channels. So here's his animation. So there's a lot of keyframes here and if I go down if I look at these red keys here what's going on? This is clearly automated you can see by the evenness and what it's doing it's it's uh, running off the audio channel and if you watch this here these two bones here audio and audio b you can see them moving Don Quixote, that dog blabbed to the pigs he's a stool pigeon i tell you you're gonna have to take him out to sleep with the fishes capiche so what's going on with that is that there's a little script hidden up in here under sound and own audio wiggle. And you can see that I selected the audio layer and then I've applied this to it. Now I've also got another bone in here and once you've got that to move with the audio then what you can do is use one bone to drive another You'll see all his movement here is basically being driven by these audio bones. Have a look at his actions. So one bone is driving another. Uh, this one, this audio bone is driving this cheek. So when he talks and when that bone moves, his cheek moves up and down. Now we've got another bone here. Aha! So as that audio is driven, it um, drives this, this character's bones up and down. Okay, so let's go on to a simpler character. So I'll run through how to do this from scratch. First of all, I'll go to the real basics. There are a few things about automation and lip syncing starting with the most simplest box first of all let's give this box a mouth all right so if i was to add a bone to this layer and we'll call it audio bone. okay now there's a few different ways of doing this. One, using the bone audio wiggle. To do that, I will make a new action. In fact, I'll make it a smart action immediately by just going to bone, make smart bone dial. Okay. Let's go to audio bone two and we'll get that mouth and let's open that mouth so as the bone moves so too does the mouth now we'll go back to the main line and you see there's nothing here unless we put a keyframe in 
and now you can see that okay so that's a keyframe uh, we'll record some audio for it so let's do that window audio recording I uh, haven't thought what we're gonna say here let's go I am a robot I want to be a robot whatever that means um, let's have a listen I am a robot I want to be a robot let's see what I have I am a robot I want to be a robot okay great all right so um, add to projects Okay, great. And here we have the audio. I am a robot. I want to be a robot. Great. We could have recorded that earlier in another program or with actors and all that kind of stuff. But just so you can see what's going on, that's what we've done. Now, once again, I use this audio bone. I go to scripts and I will apply the sound bone audio wiggle. That was just d default settings. Let's see what happens. I am a robot. I want to be a robot. Great. Okay, we can see that that's not really enough, is it? So, this is the trick that I like to do, is I like to make two bones. So, that's the one that's driving the action. So, let's take that away and make another one this one we'll call audio input it doesn't matter what we call it we could call that one mouth bone but i've already done the action so let's stick with what we've got here input um, and then let's make a smart bone for that so I'm gonna just do a little movement here so then a little one makes a lot more movement let's take that right down and then I put the audio script onto that one max angle 90 frame set 2 and then see what happens. I am a robot. Here we go. I am a robot. I want to be a robot. Very simple. Suddenly we have automated actions. So I am a robot. I want to be a robot. Now you can just record as much as you want, and that'll instantly come through um, again and again and again. So that's one way of doing it. So. Other than the lip sync itself, which you can automate, but it's better just to do it manually, and I'll show you how to do that. So first we go to his bone layer. And we record some audio. Window. Audio recording. And we'll just record something like hey i've come to see the big cheese where's the big cheese and that was pathetic but anyway anyway here we go i'll pitch it up one just for fun hey i've come to see the big cheese where's the big cheese <laughs> that's <laughs> terrible <laughs> that sounded like that let's just let's just not do that let's do another one hey has anyone has seen the big cheese? Now that was even more insulting, but we'll go with that one. Hey, has anyone has seen the big cheese? <laughs> okay, so we'll save that one. Add to project the big cheese. Anyone has seen the big cheese? Apologies to all my Italian friends and relatives. <laughs> okay. So we have our audio file. We have our audio bone. 
We'll get the script. Sound. An audio wiggle. A big cheese. Play it to here. And now see what happens. Hey. Has anyone seen the big cheese? Great. So all we have to do now is go to the phonemes. Now I think it's best. There are programs like Papayago and um, they do work. Um, I show you here an example of a file. Here we go. Who are you calling a dirty rat? You can use different preview here. But um, you know, really, it's it's more trouble than it's worth. Basically, uh, don't even bother. You'll spend ages just mucking around with these different. Um, and then the end result isn't even that good. So don't bother with it. Just go straight into. I wish there was a better way of automating mouths, but uh, it's easier just to go like this. Open the switch selection, and uh, just and just guess it. Let's go. Okay, let's make a rest here. Eh. Yeah. So, let's choose a shape. Back to rest. Okay. Let's do it as quickly as possible. You just go through and pick from the list. the big cheese has anyone seen the big cheese that's all kind of done actions to sort of spice it up we can use the bone layer um. This one drives the others. So that overrides it and adds to it. Has anyone seen the big cheese? The big cheese. So you have Has anyone seen the big cheese? One animation and the other one on top. See how he's doing all this? All of that is all automatic and if we can see the bones there are the audio bones and one movement drives another so this one audio bone is driving the head tilt that's the head tilt action. Now, if I go to the audio bone, let's take all the animation off. Now I've got that audio bone selected, so I'll run the script. Sound, bone audio wiggle. And I'm using the wave file that I recorded before called Doity Rat. And these uh, I think the default settings. Let's have a look. Run that script and there you see the volume makes the audio bone 
wiggle up and down. And that, in turn, drives the head tilt. And also, what I also have done is use this bone, which is parented to that bone, and then this neck bone is parented to that one. This one is using a constraint that runs a very small amount, very, very tiny amount off that same audio bone. So, which means his head tilts back a little bit. You can see the neck tilting and the head tilting back. And it gives it that really alive action that if I was to take it away, sure his lips move, but look, it's really pretty dead. Put the animation back and he comes to life. And you can also, using this second master tilter, let's call it, you can layer the action. Let's make him say, lean forward, dirty rat. Leaning forward here. There. Who are you calling a dirty rat? You go. A dirty rat. And that and it gives him Who so much more life without even touching the eyebrows, which of course will give him real attitude. Who are you calling a dirty rat? There you go. And quite quickly he turned from a, he turned from a character with no real personality to someone who really means business. Who are you calling a dirty rat? That's a simple introduction to automation and the amazing Bone Wiggle script. If you want to know more, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, and if you want to see the file, hit the link below. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.